My name is Lachelle Ricks and I am the director of the Recovery Courts for Rutherford County. So Recovery Court is a diversion program. It is basically an alternative to incarceration. So those folks who have um, current charges within the county can apply to come and do a treatment program instead of serving their sentence in jail. On average, the cost of incarceration is $63 a day. Our clients spend an average of 100 days in jail, so that's $6,300. So if we are taking them out of jail, that's saving the taxpayers all of that money. And they're also getting treatment so that they're not coming back through the system again. Our main purpose is to reduce recidivism, so reducing the amount of times folks go back through the court system, which is going to lower the cost to the taxpayers. Um, it helps people um, become more productive members of society, of the community, so that you're not worried about your neighbors, you know, or the family friend breaking into your house or um, doing other criminal activities. We have four courts under the Recovery Court umbrella. Drug Court, DUI Court, Mental Health Court, and Veterans Court. DUI Court is usually 12 months um, because most of them are coming in on 1129. So um, they have a four phase program that's gonna take them about 12 months. Drug Court, Veterans Court, and Mental Health Court um, are average 20, 24 months. 18 is minimum. 24 is usually the max because they're on a five-phase system and usually have an aftercare process as well. The ideal candidate for the program would be somebody who is a nonviolent offender who has current charges in Rutherford or Cannon County. They have to be 18 years and older. Depending on the program that they apply for, there are some specific requirements for those courts as well. So some of the treatments that we offer here are individual and group therapy. We offer ACUD talks, we offer yoga. We at one point had an occupational therapist, which we're trying to get back. And so they you know, deal with some sensory issues and, and self-regulation. We have a recovery court foundation, um, and there is a way that you can donate to that foundation, which helps the recovery court and, and its participants. Uh, we have a Facebook page uh, with a QR code that you can go to and you can click that to donate. Working for Recovery Court just provides an opportunity to help somebody who may not get the same opportunity in another setting, right? Instead of going to jail and not getting any resources or not getting any assistance, um, they're coming here and they're getting treatment, they're getting therapy, they're getting those things to change their lives and to become productive members of society. Um, and that in turn helps the communities, that in turn helps the families, um, and that in turn takes the whole, takes us as a society um, in an elevated direction. Yeah.